Hey guys, welcome back to another raid video from Villasync again. Now this video we will be just quickly taking a look at Let's go to the index to begin with. A lizard man that received a buff. And it made him even better than he was. Now I've always liked Broadmoor. Always liked Broadmoor. I've never seen really an issue with him. His kit was a bit kinda iffy, but still he had the revive which made him viable, visible, viable. Pretty much in a lot of places. Ever since he's had the change, he's now like a god in Fatumars. He can carry you through Dragon, he can carry you through Golem. Gives you the block damage upon revival. You can throw out a freeze. So good, I'm pretty sure he's now got turn meter manipulation. So as you always do, we'll take a look at the champion. He's a bit chunky. He's a big dude. But Hey, we're cool with it, and he's got mini Broadmaw, or a skull, on his back. So design-wise, Palladium never lasts down. <coughs> Ice Blast is just attachment enemy. 35% chance of placing a freeze debuff. You can go 45% chance. You can add on 5 more with the Master Ace to make it a 50% chance. You know, this freeze is actually pretty clutch. In fact, some wars, if he has enough accuracy, he'll land this on the enemies. <coughs> Which makes him a really good CC champion in the same output as a revive champion. Now, there's a lot of worse A1s. There's a lot of better, but to go with Broadmoor, I think the freeze is kind of clutch. And it's not to be taken lightly. <coughs> Gift level 1. I recently put books into mine, so I got this and the A3 fully booked, so I'm quite happy. But he will increase crit rate and increase speed on all your allies for 2 turns, and he will fill the turn meters of all allies by 15%. So, if you're putting him specifically, you can now build to 70% crit rate. 65 if you want to throw in the masteries thing. He will increase your speed, he will increase your turn meter, that's massive. I'm pretty sure the term meter fill was added onto this. I'm pretty sure he's always had increased rate and speed. But the term meter were viable. <clears throat> Makes him a lot more stronger. A lot better as a team player. Helping your nukers go, your debuffers go. Like whoever else you've got on your team with you. <clears throat> Resurrect. Is revives two random dead allies with 25% HP. This is a block damage buff on the revived allies for a turn. Now, block damage, pretty sure you cannot extend that debuff because if you could, you could get Flesh Terror. <coughs> Pardon me. And Flesh Terror could make it two turns. But he will, in fact, some wars in dungeons if he's carrying you, if he's built right. He's going to revive, maybe your nukers, make him block damage, meaning they're going to get a turn. You're going to have potentially a healer on your team. Somebody that's going to throw up increased defense, increased attack, and get continuous heals. You may have your CC champion. So when they're revived, somebody may provoke all the enemies, allowing these two revived random allies to survive a bit longer. But the block damage is so strong, so powerful, when it comes to faction wars, he is just stupidly good, stupidly good. I love his whole kit, it's just fantastic. Increased crit rate, increased speed, I can build people with now less crit rate and less speed if I choose to, because he's going to buff it for me. As you know, we're getting the revive for the block damage, but on his A1, he's continuous, continuously has a chance to freeze people. On his A1, can just free someone. It's going to help you in a lot of places. Give him a bit of accuracy to make sure he lands it. Just enough for facts or more, etc. You need to go overboard with it. Unless you take him to potentially PvP. But you need a lot of accuracy for that. <clears throat> Otherwise, give him maybe 300. And he should be good. A little bit of resistance is always kind of decent. It means he won't be debuffed as quick. Doesn't have to be sky high, but just enough to kind of stop some decreased defenses, poisons, whatever, coming out to him instead. His aura is ally defense and faction creeps, where he is god tier. 
with 33%. 33% an aura. Going up by 33%. It's one of the best in the game, I'll say, for Fox and Crips. There's a few champions with bigger numbers, but 33% is a 3-star item. 33% could be close enough to your banner, depending on your build, your amulet. So, nothing to be sniffed at there. But overall, you're going to build them to stay alive, to revive your allies, increase your speed, increase your crit rate, and potentially freeze people. Now, if look at his base stats, 18,660 HP. It's kind of good, it's a pretty good starting number to work from. His attack, not hugely bothered, but it's 1100. Defense, 958, a bit low, but we could always improve it if we needed to. <coughs> speed, 104, which is underrated. People kind of forget how fast he actually is. We have Robar, we have Solus, we have so many champions in just speed buff, and yet we have a reviver at 104. One of the fastest revivers in the game. At a base of 104 speed. That's also good. Basic crit rate, crit damage. Resistance. Starts off with 30, which is pretty good. So now, just save him from getting debuffed as easy. Accuracy and just build it to how you need to build him to. You know, I can show you mine. He's got gear on. It's nothing really spectacular. I would like to get him into a certain set of my particular choice. It may work for you as well. I'll look through the gear sets in just a moment. So just now, I just threw on some random gear. He is slow. But I put him into Fox and Crips. Just to kind of clear up some three stars. Now that I've, as I said, I put books in. This is now on a four turn cooldown. You know what, sorry, Gift is not, not hugely bothered about that one. And I've now got 40% chance to free someone. I could use all the other books, but I kind of don't want to at this point in time, and I don't believe he has masteries. <coughs> and depending on how you build them, potentially you might not need them. Give him the HP, give him defense, give him enough speed, which I need to correct in my, my build. Bit of accuracy if you want to land that freeze. There is a possibility you will not want to land the freeze, and you will want a high resist broadmaw. They will constantly not get debuffed, constantly just take less damage. And that's fine as well, you can definitely do that. We are going for, in my opinion, a high HP. Enough defense to kind of back up in range of what it should be. Enough speed to where you need him to go in your team. Better resistance and potentially a bit of accuracy. So quickly we'll look at the sets. And we're just going to close them all so we see the names. Now, life is always some, sometimes like a broken set, but if it's fast and crisp and you just need some HP to put on him, yes. Defense, potentially, yes. Speed, potentially, you could do that as well. Crit rate, crit damage. That's a different style of build. And his, his worth will be him staying alive to help your team, so accuracy. Resistance is a possibility. Lifesteal is always a possibility. Also, always a chance that it's going to be kind of clutch. Frost is a meme set, but it's really good. And obviously, immunity. You can put him in shield. You can put him in toxic. You can... There's actually more sets than you think that you could be put into. Stalwart. You can put him into immortal. Potentially some divine stuff. But one of the best sets, or one of the sets I would like to put him in is this. I want to get his HP up quite high, for argument's sake. 50,000 HP. I could maybe get 8,000, just at the start of the turn. Now if he's in a, the same team with a style of the Drakes, whatever, throw in some more heals, he'll constantly just be healing himself up. To max, taking not a lot of damage. Helping the team, staying alive with a build that potentially is a lot better than this one. This is not a good build to show anybody. We're just reviewing him 
telling you kind of what you should do. The butter part of it will come later. I would like to six star him. I think he's definitely worth it. So HP, HP, because fast and kits we need HP, HP substat there. Pretty sure, yeah, HP and there may be a HP substat there. So that's kind of what, what I would do. Regeneration is always good. It gives him that extra life to keep him alive. There's a few meme sets, but regen, potentially a shield set, immortal set. As long as you can keep him alive, it could even be lifesteal, depending on where you are in the game. But keep him alive. He has an amazing skill set, an amazing worth. The buff for him. I mean, he, was, he was good before, but now he's so much better. And I think as the player base, we need to kind of tell each other that. The broad mod is good. A lot of people, a lot of CCs, they make content. I've seen them all a long time ago in their previous videos. <clears throat> a year ago or so. Don't fuse broad mod, not worth it. But listen to me, he is worth it. And since the buff, he is god tier worth it. He is potentially going to help you, if you don't have skull, get your faction wars complete. The heal, the freeze, the increased speed, the for instance, your nuker can have more crit damage now and less crit rate due to the buff you're getting. So, that pretty much summarizes that. Broadmaw is S tier. He is a god. He is completely worth your time. He received a buff that made him even more worth your time. And if you want to mess around with him, you can do that at a 50. As a 50, he's just, just as good. This is being 6 stars, just some basic stats he gets the banner but as a 50 he can do the same job still help you out he never really dies although i do need to update my build that guys is my review updated review 2021 of broadmar he's s tier get on him if he's in the vault take him out trust me faction wars is if you only use him for faction wars he will be worth a million dollars to you be worth a million bucks i promise Alright guys, thank you for watching to the end of the video. It's kind of been a quick one. And as I say, we won't have any dragon fights, ice golem fights. That will come soon. I'm going to try to get him into a nice gear setup. So I can give you guys even more information about him. But until then, keep raiding. Stay well, stay safe.